President Biden is heading to Boston later today, where he will have a short meeting with the Prince and Princess of Wales before attending a fundraiser. This comes one day after he toasted French President Emmanuel Macron in the first state dinner of his presidency. While the president was at that dinner, he also made some big news on the domestic political front. Two Democratic Party officials tell NBC News he, the president, wants South Carolina, which you'll remember put him on a path to victory in 2020, to be the first state to hold its Democratic primary in 2024. South Carolina would be followed by New Hampshire and Nevada on the same day, then Georgia and Michigan. NBC News White House correspondent Mike Mevely joins us from Boston this morning. Mike, good morning. Why is the president pushing for South Carolina? Well, Jose, if you're wondering what the president's thinking is here as the Democratic National Committee is set to begin considering this new proposal, I think you only need to look back a couple years ago into what happened when I was with then-candidate Joe Biden in New Hampshire on the day of the primary. President Biden had just lost, uh, finished fourth in Iowa. He was going to finish fifth that day in New Hampshire. And where did he go? He flew before the polls had even closed in New Hampshire to South Carolina to make the argument that the true contest in the Democratic primary would not be resolved until voters of color really had their say. And this is really what's motivating the president here. In a letter that he sent to DNC members last night, he says that the party really should, uh, and the, the biggest voice in the party should reflect the diversity of the party. And so that's why you have uh, some changing in the order, South Carolina moving from fourth to first in the order here, and then some new players. You have, for instance, Michigan joining the ranks, Georgia joining the ranks of the early states, and New Hampshire and Nevada going on the same day a week after South Carolina. Carolina. So this is a move that is already really prompting a lot of outcry, especially not far from where I am right now in New Hampshire. The state law of New Hampshire, in fact, requires the secretary of state to schedule that primary seven days before any similar election. And so you already have state officials and Democratic officials in the first in the nation primary state saying they intend to stay first in the nation. One other consideration here, Jose, of course, if President Biden does seek reelection, this is really kind of a moot point. We have already heard the Republican National Committee commit to the traditional order with the leadoff Iowa caucuses followed by New Hampshire. And so the real question is here, would the Democrats proceed with this new calendar if it's different from the Republican calendar and how would state officials in all the relevant parties adjust to it? A lot more is still to come on this. Okay? No doubt. So, Mike, when will the, the Democratic Party decide, you know, the calendar one way or another? So this proposal that was endorsed by the president is going before what's called the Rules and Bylaws Committee of the DNC. They're actually scheduled to meet today in, in Washington to begin that process. Uh, that discussion among the members of that committee will be heated. And I know we're going to hear from some of those early states, especially Iowa, who is completely left out of the puzzle here, making an argument why they should still be considered. It does require a vote of the RBC and then ultimately ratification by the full committee. Mike Mebley in Boston this morning. I thank you so very much.